anytime. Get the latest in-depth news, highlights, and analysis. Watch full live game coverage. Simply choose a package to suit you from a full season, monthly, or daily pass and experience the highest quality coverage of live sports online. Jim Nance and Phil Sims here in San Diego. You know, Phil, going to the break, you could see that uh, Ladanian was, uh, appeared to be fuming, was it? You think over the fact they didn't go for it? Oh, down? yeah, I think it's either, Jim, it's two things, that or the frustration of not scoring a touchdown once you get down there. He's averaging less today, less than one yard per rush, and they had a long fourth and one. They put their points on the board instead with the field goal, and that's Chris Henry. Running into a pack near the 25, only a 13-yard return. You can watch NFL players tell their personal stories and help decide what will be this year's NFL Super Bowl commercial. Voting ends tonight at 11.59 p.m. Eastern, only at NFL.com slash super ad. Early third quarter, you're down six to nothing. You've had no success. You got a chance to feel good about a drive. My opinion, I said, you kick the field goal, you make it 6-3. to three. I totally agree. you got to put some points on the board. It's so early second half. Put something up. Play action and a bootleg here for Young. He's over to Davis, and he holds on to it near the 27. Drayton Florence closing in on him quickly. We'll give him three yards. The Titans in the playoffs for the first time since the 2003 season. And... Uh, that season, in the postseason, they went to Baltimore in the wild card round and won on the road. And then they lost that game up at New England, Phil. You'll remember it. 17-14, Patriots beat him. It's four degrees at kickoff. And it's Lindell White with another handle for four. Yeah, they played very well that day, Jim. But then they kind of purged. You know, they, they, they had some salary cap hits. They unloaded some veterans. They knew they were going to have to be committed to a long-range plan. We asked the coach last night about it, and he said, you know, this is basically we were on schedule, maybe a little ahead of it. Yeah, he, he thought this team would be good enough to get to the playoffs this year. And he was right. Got a third and two. Young's pass. Caught by Hartzik. Enough for the first. Yeah, this is this play inside. Vince Young looks out. Nobody opened. A little spacing in there. And the two plays like this the last time they played four weeks ago, the Tennessee Titans intercepted the football. But today, Vince Young a little quicker with his decision. And the football is thrown where only his guy can catch it. Young finding an eight different target today. First down, Lindell White bumps into Sean Phillips. Been uh, such a difficult week for Lindell White. His grandmother passed away this week. Team actually excused him from practice for a couple of days as he attended the services and back to see the family. Well, you see what they've done today, Lindell White. 17 carries, 69 yards. Tennessee picking up where they left off. Running the football well here, starting second half. That's Chris Henry getting the carry. He's met by about four chargers for no game. Yep. That, that's what you got to stop, Jim. The San Diego Chargers have to just stop the running game of the Tennessee Titans, change the scenarios, make throwing opportunities, make Tennessee throw it more. That's when they think they can make the plays. White getting a little cut addressed. They have been superb today on third down. Eight of 12 as a team. Third and six. Young. Over the head of Tomardi. And there was all kinds of pressure on Young that influenced that throw away. 
Tennessee trying different ways to get the receivers open down the field. Again, I think the pass protection is good. He could have stood there all day. And at the last second, you look down the field, Gage breaks off the route, but Vince Young says, no, you were supposed to keep going down the field. Good pass protection. Hendrick. Scrolls. And he has swarmed under just a couple of yards on the return. Hendrick with a good one, 40 yards. 6-3, Tennessee in the third. The hard-hitting action of American football continues on NASN with the divisional playoff run. The Super Bowl 42 rolls on, and NASN has full live coverage of the NFL playoffs. It's Smash Mouth Football the way it ought to be. The NFL Divisional Playoffs, live this Saturday on NASN. has lost its last two playoff games by a field goal is down three here in the third as Rivers throws it to an open man it's Vincent Jackson coming up big here Jackson stretches it out across the 40 brought down by Finnegan another 20 yards to Vincent Jackson yeah they're throwing the football on time but what's impressive is the separation they're getting now Finnegan on the coverage playing it safe a good fake by Vincent Jackson like I am going to go deep that makes the defensive back turn when he turns he is wide open four catches for 89 yards for Vincent Jackson the third year player out of the northern Colorado first down out of the backfield first catch of the game for LT and pushed out by Michael Griffin who came back out for this series after being shaken up the last time you know and something about the second half the San Diego Chargers in rhythm there's now starting to get some plays I and mean, when you get those number of plays up big defensive lineman harder to always just keep rushing the passer and I always say this what it does too it allows offensive linemen to get in the rhythm too of the of the defensive guys moves so you can protect your quarterback a little bit better Antoine Odom the left defensive end for the Titans is also back out there so he had been shaken up as had Griffin on the last series they return up to five yards on the pass play to Mardanian. Now he runs it, and he's dragged down by Tulloch, second-year player from NC State who was at NC State, crossed over a couple years with Phillip Rivers with the Wolfpack. <laughs> Phillip Rivers had some fun. He goes, hey, he's no 5'11". I don't care what. The, but I know this. Jeff <laughs> Fisher said Tulloch is going to. He goes, guys, I, I promise he's going to have at least 12 tackles tomorrow. And I don't know how many he's got, but I've heard his name a lot. Another third down on the way, third and four. Where are you going? Where are you going? Line adjustments being called out. Rivers to Tomlinson. And LT falling for the first, and they give him the spot. Griffin came up to make the tackle, and Ladanian knew where he had to go with the chains. Well, that was a play. LaDainian Thomas is going to come out no matter what. Here comes the blitz. When he sees the blitz, Phillip Rivers knows I got to throw it to my running back quick. And it's up to LaDainian Tomlinson. Now there's, you see, he stepped out. Yeah, but where was the football as he went out of bounds? Very close. Do you want to waste a challenge on a couple inches? It'll be too late now anyway. Michael Turner with the carry, his first of the game. And it's good for three. LaDainian Thomas did just a good enough job getting a few extra yards after contact to get this big first down. After not having a catch in this game, he had two. Just separated by a play. Well, they've got Jim. It's now they can, they're letting him out every once in a while because they're gaining confidence in the right offensive right line. Here. 
that they can block the defensive lineman of Tennessee. A second down and seven from the Tennessee 44. And Rivers, oh, Hainsworth comes in and just decks the quarterback. I had that on the top of my list of things you must do in this game. Change the snap count. Good pass rushers. Make them set by using your snap count. Make them guess. And usually really good pass rushers, Jim, when you give them a hard count, they're gonna they're gonna go for it every once in a while. They may have two calls there here. There were two fouls against the defense, number 92 on the play. And Coachman, that penalty is declined. There was also a personal foul, unnecessary roughness. That's in four fifteen yards, automatic first down. That's a huge call against Hainsworth. Brings the football inside the 30. Well, that was a good, harsh count by Phillip Rivers. And when you jump off sides, you cannot hit the quarterback. San Diego, which had only three first downs in the first half, has six in this quarter. From the 29, Tomlinson rides the pile for four, matching his longest carry of the day. Tomorrow on CBS, the early show unveils a whole new look and a new attitude. Do it early with the new early show beginning tomorrow on CBS. Scott Merchkowski, backup lineman, has come in and has come in notifying them he's an eligible receiver. Lined up on the right side. On second and six. Rivers has time to plant the feet, find his man at the four. It's Vincent Jackson, and he's in for the touchdown. Touchdown, San Diego. Really good job by Phillip Rivers. This throw was designed to go to his left. It was covered. He comes back to the right with Vincent Jackson. Now he uncovers, and it's wide open for the touchdown, and what excitement little Rivers can show. He can celebrate. That drive aided by the personal foul call against Hainsworth. 25-yard touchdown pass. I tell you what, a block two by Scott Merchkowski, who had just come in. He took away the pressure from Antoine Odom. The Chargers lead it. Kick off your new year this January on NASN. We get to the business end of the NFL with the playoffs as the road to Super Bowl 42 in Arizona really opens up. It's the highlight of the college football season as the top contenders fight it out in the BCS. And we head to Atlanta for the 2008 NHL All-Star Game and bring you live coverage of the Young Stars Game and every event in the NHL Super Skills Competition. It's an exciting new year here on NASN. We're playing San Diego. Two catches, two touchdowns. And puked in between. And that's when I knew it. I felt like I was playing with little kids and I was a grown man, like Superman. I ran the fastest 40 at the camp, and I was still 15 years old. So that's when I knew I was going to be pretty good. Oh, yeah. Hi there, folks. I'm Tim McCarver, thanking you for watching my show exclusively here on NASN, Europe's leading channel for North American sports. Join me each week as I conduct in-depth interviews with the biggest stars from the world of sports. Whether you enjoy football, baseball, basketball, hockey, you name it. Check out NASN.com for the latest schedules and guest lists, and we'll see you right here on Chevrolet's Tim McCarver Show on NASN.
And we're back after Vincent Jackson collects his fourth catch of the day that went for at least 20 yards. A 25 yard touchdown. Phillip Rivers coming up big in that quarter. 137 yards passing in the third alone. Rayner, the kickoff man, over to Chris Henry. And Henry bottled up at the 26. Well, Jim, Phillip Rivers drops back, play action pass. He looks left, and when he looks left, everybody's looking over here. Safety gets out of the middle, and then he comes back to Vincent Jackson coming to his right. That is why he is wide open. Phillip Rivers, who told us on Friday this game cannot get here fast enough. Yeah, they were disappointed when they heard they were playing on Sunday instead of Saturday. They were convinced they'd be playing on the Saturday game, and he said, I'm just so ready to come back out here and erase what happened a year ago to New England. From first down, open. What a catch over the shoulder by Ben Troop. Clinton Hart was racing with him, but the tight end goes for 26 again today without their regular starting tight end out. And I are. Yeah, ben, ben Troop goes right to the outside. Clinton Hart looking inside. Vince Young, nice protection. And a good job looking down the middle to create just another, li a little more space for Ben Troop on the outside. Bo Scape out. And I are with a lacerated liver. That's the longest play of the game for Tennessee. First play of over 20 yards, and they're coming back. With the end around, the reverse. That's Chris Davis. And what a hit by Quinton Jammer. 11 yards. Well, that's what you do. You've got a wide receiver coming in here, and Chris Davis hasn't played much in that position. He's a returner, so you give him the football in a reverse because he knows how to do it in space. And he can take a hit, too. Big David Stewart, the right tackle, had sealed off Sean Merriman to help that go for a first down. Tennessee quickly to the San Diego side, and they go back to Ben Hartson. He is swung down by Stephen Cooper, picks up another six. This is one of those hits that you're lucky you held on to the football. Be a good defense. San Diego Chargers are. All your players got to do everything in the corners. Cromarty and Quentin Jammer, they are both very good tacklers. On second and four, Lindell White. Tackled by Marlon McCree, who snuck up to make the tackle. And a third and one on the way. There's Ted Cottrell, the defensive coordinator. They will have to snap it. They're just a second off here with the play clock to the end of the quarter. They go inside. And Hall fights for it. Look at Hall taking off inside the 20. Loses his footing. Otherwise, he was ready to challenge Marlon McCree. 11 yards gained. And the Titans will start the fourth in the red zone. 10-6 San Diego after three. And you're watching the NFL on CBS. NASN brings you unrivaled coverage of the best sports North America has to offer. Get the best seats in the house for the biggest games in the best leagues 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Watch the NFL from preseason all the way to the playoffs with over 60 regular season games, the postseason, and live coverage of Super Bowl 42 from Phoenix. Get live coverage of every game of the World Series and don't miss an inning of the MLB regular season with up to 260 regular season games and the All-Star Game Live. Experience the most comprehensive coverage of the NHL anywhere in Europe with over 200 live regular season games, the 2008 NHL All-Star Game, and the Stanley Cup Finals Live. 
NASN takes you to pit lane in the high-octane world of NASCAR with live Bush Series racing and keeps you up to date with the Nextel Cup and Truck Series with daily episodes of NASCAR Now. Get courtside with the best conferences in NCAA college basketball with a packed schedule of games between the top teams and unrivaled coverage of March Madness. See the power and skill of the finest players in college football with full season and bowl series coverage, including all the BCS games, live. And with all your favorite news highlights and analysis shows, including PTI and Around the Horn, you won't miss a minute from any of your favorite sports all season long. Log on to NASN.com now and join the world of NASN, your leader in North American sports. San Diego owned the third quarter. Got the field goal first, then the touchdown pass, Rivers to Jackson. Tennessee, though, answering right back. Jim Nance and Phil Sims here at Qualcomm Stadium as we start the fourth. Will Tennessee prevail and go to New England next week? Or will it be San Diego, which would travel the Chargers to Indianapolis? Oh, what a hit. Sean Phillips. Greets Lindell White right after the handoff. A loss of three. Different look. Sean Phillips standing up. You heard me say it earlier, Jim. When you when you time things just right, hard for the offensive guys to react to it. And that's what Sean Phillips did. That's why he tackled the, the running back for a loss. Well, you had said early in this game, Jeff Fisher said, I want to get to the fourth with the game close. Well, he's got it. See what happens. The second and 13. Dunks pass almost intercepted. It was behind Hall. Clinton Hart had a play on it. Yeah, when you look at this game today, I don't like this play. Vince Young, any, for any quarterback, has to pull the football down and re-throw it. But when you throw it outside, Jim, just think about it. Less people, you can see better. Your, your mis margin of error is much greater. When you throw inside, it gets tipped. You can't see the linebackers in front of the running back or whoever, and that's where you get the turnover. So if you want to throw it, keep throwing it outside the numbers. They're starting the rain again. And on third and 13, Young's pass too low. And it'll bring back Baronis. He was going for Hall. Yeah, this time Vince Young just doesn't step into it wide open. In other words, he never turns to get in position to make the throw to the sideline, and that's one of the reasons why it comes up short. Baronis will be trying one from about 38 yards. He's two for two on the day. up empty. The hard-hitting action of American football continues on NASN with the divisional playoff run. The march to Super Bowl 42 rolls on, and NASN has full live coverage of the NFL playoffs. It's smash mouth football the way it ought to be. The NFL Divisional Playoffs, live this Saturday on NASN. Hockey's not just a game, it's a lifestyle. Join the Reebok Revolution. Visit NASN.com, your home for North American sports merchandise. ESPN 360, a new and totally interactive online sporting experience from ESPN. You can now watch the best live sports action online, anywhere, anytime. 
Get the latest in-depth news, highlights, and analysis. Watch full live game coverage. Simply choose a package to suit you from a full season, monthly, or daily pass and experience the highest quality coverage of live sports online. Baronis, wide left from 38. And I say wide, not by much. So taking over at the 28, the Chargers with the 10-6 lead. And finding a rhythm on offense in this half. And Tomlinson for a couple running into Vandenbosch. Phillip Rivers threw for 137 yards in that third quarter. He got decked, but uh, that picked up 15 for the team because of Hainsworth. And then the touchdown pass to Vincent Jackson, who is stepping up big with Antonio Gates out. Yeah, he really is, Jim. And I tell you, when Phillip Rivers has had the time today, the San Diego Chargers are showing they got more than just LaDainian Tomlinson and Antonio Gates. Other guys are getting open. And when Phillip Rivers has time, he's throwing it right on target. Well, second down, it's 10. It's Tomlinson with his biggest burst of the day right behind Jeremy Clary for 12. This whole game is almost a replay of the one we saw four weeks ago. Down three to nothing and a half, and the San Diego Chargers found some ways to start moving the football. LaDainian Tomlinson, all of a sudden, a defense. Is he getting tired? That, but it's also determination and better execution by the San Diego Chargers offensive line. Andrew Pinnock also with a big block there as LT picks up his first rushing first down of the game. And gets another carry. It's past the corner. Back to the edge and steps out near the 45. Give him five. Next week, it'll be either Tennessee at New England if the Titans win, which would send Jacksonville to Indianapolis. But a Charger victory would put Jacksonville up in Foxborough and San, San Diego to Indianapolis. That last play, LaDainian Tomlinson going sideways, but very few running backs can turn it up at full speed and stay in bounds and pick up those extra yards. Second down and five. Rivers got a one-on-one -on -one situation. Coming over was Griffin to also help. And that was Chambers. The intended target, Cortland Finnegan running with him. Yeah, you know, it looked like Chris Chambers just kind of slowed down for a little bit. One on one with Finnegan on the outside. And I think Phillip Rivers, when he throws, he goes, hey, I got a chance here. Let's see it one more time. In the air. Maybe he decided or he could tell quickly that it was not going to be on target. Rain through the first quarter was dry almost the entire second and third. Sky's opening up a bit here, late in the going. And third down over to Manu Maliuna, who has the first. Before Bullock steps over to bring him down. Not until he gains nine and another new set of downs. That's what you do. You look down the field. You want to pick up the first down with the throw. And he looks down the field. Nobody's open. Look at the protection again. So you throw it to your outlet receiver, and it's not going to pick up a first down, but the defense, they're waiting down the field for the throw. When you come up, you come up too fast to react. Offensive players able to go by you. Nice move by. In the slick field, you see Vincent Fuller yes. uh, lost his footing, which was key. That gave uh, the big tight end a chance to pick up the first down. Now Rivers over the head of Nene. Legadu Nene, the second-year player out of Boise State, who in practice this week simulated, if you will, for the scout team, he played Vince Young. He played Vince Young the last two times they played the Tennessee Titans. He was Vince. I got to tell you something, man. He looked good doing it, and he threw the ball really yes, well. He did. We were laughing. I go to the defensive players. 
Well, Lene's out there. If he's completing passes, what do you think Vince Young is going to do? Because he was hitting them down the field, too. The second and 10 from the Titans 47. Ainsworth on the sideline on this snap. Rivers hit when he threw it. And then he was going for Jackson. Well, they were in there quick on Rivers. Tony Brown, one of them. Well, doesn't catch him by surprise. Phillip Rivers warned his whole offense. Here comes the blitz. Confusion on who's blocking. Well, nobody even blocks Brown. And the defense, they know the blitz is coming. And a lot of times when you blitz, the offense is going to throw it quick, and they were ready for it. So third and 10 now with 11.27 remaining. Open, wide open. Has Chambers inside the 20 and down at the 7. How in the world did he get that free? That's twice today we've seen a receiver go off the seam and just be uncovered. Chris Chambers going down the field is going to be right in that area. San Diego blocking everybody up to allow Phillip Rivers extra time. And sometimes when a quarterback gets that much time to throw the football, the defense just falls apart. And that's what it did that time for the Tennessee Titans. 39 gained. Rivers has five completions today that have gone for at least 25 yards. Chambers over 100. First and goal to go. And look at Tomlinson calls timeout. Play clock. And it leaves the Chargers with one timeout. First and goal to go. In 2006, Steven Jackson of the St. Louis Rams established himself as one of the NFL's elite running backs. With a rare combination of power and speed, Jackson muscled his way to a career-best 1,528 rushing yards last season. He'll look to improve upon that total in 2007 as the Rams vie for a playoff first. Steven Jackson of the end zone, touchdown! up tonight on CBS 60 minutes with Roger Clemens one on one with Mike Wallace the exclusive interview with all the tough questions about the steroid allegations plus new episodes of the amazing race cold case James Wood stars and sharp it's all tonight on America's most watched network first and goal and spinning away from the first hit Tomlinson still going to lose a yard Last time, LaDainian Thomas, and he's looking at the play clock, and he goes, we cannot afford a five-yard penalty, so being alert. Philip Rivers saw it to it the last second. Ainsworth is back in. Remember, he had set down a couple of snaps on this drive. Second and goal. Rivers throwing that one away. Now Baronis, who has had a spectacular year with the Titans and earning the Pro Bowl recognition, missing the 38-yarder. It's a two earlier makes. 